Well, what's going on guys? I'm Jimmy, and in this video, we're unboxing, installing, and reviewing this set of string lights that I just bought from Costco. And spoiler alert, I love them. So let's get into it. Today, we're gonna look at these LED string lights that I just bought from Costco. There's lots of different companies offering versions of these lights, but I wanna go over some quick specs here for these ones. You can see these ones are 48 feet long, and this 48 foot string only uses 24 watts. There are 24 bulbs per 48 foot string, so each bulb is two foot apart, and each bulb only uses one watt. It also says for outdoor use, suitable for wet locations, includes 24 screw base LED bulbs plus two spares. It's a heavy duty 16-3 cord. And of course, I already mentioned 24 sockets that are two feet apart. So I have seen other offerings, whether it be online or in local stores, and none of them really come close to the specs that these have for the price. I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for these, but I think it was under $40. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we got. Okay, this first box looks like it's all the bulbs. You can see there's 26 of them in there. After that, we have some instructions. And then under that, you can see this long 48 foot cord here. And looking a bit closer at each one of these sockets, you can see they are screw type sockets. So the bulbs should screw right in. And the material seems to be pretty decent. It's like a rubbery, plasticky material. This cord is definitely thick and you can see how they have this set up. The bulb hangs off of the main cord about six to eight inches and there's little holes above each bulb so you can hang them. Looking at the instructions here, it's saying if you're going to attach to a structure, which is what I'm gonna be doing, they want you to have a minimum of 24 feet between each hanger. So that's actually quite a bit more than I'm gonna be doing, so I'm gonna be good there. It also says in this configuration, using the provided bulbs that are one watt each, you can connect up to 45 sets of these lights. Okay, looking inside the box of bulbs, you can see we have 26 bulbs here. And like we just read, they are one watt each with your typical E26 screw-in type base. The outside here seems to be made of plastic, which is actually probably a good thing. That way they can't shatter and have glass everywhere. And if you're wondering just how long these things are, yes, they are 48 feet, but just to get a visual on that, you can see how, how long this string is. That's actually a very long string of lights. I have the first bulb screwed in, and one thing I did notice is being that this is a flexible type of material, you do have to push down on the bulb pretty good to get it to seat because it seems that they've designed it that this material actually seals around the base of this bulb. Okay, I have all the bulbs screwed in and we have two left over just like they said. They seem to fit good, nice and tight. There was a few bulbs that seemed to not need to be screwed in as much. I'm a little curious about those if maybe I just didn't screw them in tight enough. Some of them simply had to be screwed in more than it seemed like a few others. So let's plug these in and see what they look like. Okay, here it goes, moment of truth. Wow, right away I can see there are a few bulbs here and there that need to be hopefully screwed in a little bit more, just as I suspected. Yeah, you can see I just touched this one and it fell right out. Yep, and just screwing it right back in completes the connection and it's good to go. There's a few more that need to be re-screwed. It's a bit deceiving when you're screwing these in because of this tight connection down here, the seal that this is making. It makes you think that you've screwed it in correctly, but apparently not. Now that we've verified that all of these lights actually work, I can go about the install. I have this area underneath this balcony deck that I wanna light up with these lights. My plug down below lines up about right here. So I'm gonna be using an extension cord to reach up to this plug for these lights. So I think I have a good spot here for the first nail to set these lights. And that spot is right about here. So I'll just take my first nail and tap it into place. Good. So far you can see I have this string of lights just nailed up on this one side. I am having to put a nail in each one of the lights because of the peculiar location of each mounting point. I'm trying to locate the nails at the very bottom of these joists so that way I don't have very much cord hanging down. And if I was to try to take this and nail it somewhere up here, I would have to have cord running down and back up and then back down and then back up. But being that I'm doing it this way, you can see in some areas I'm having to be a little bit creative, but this should work just fine. And as I round the corner here, you can see I'm going just on the inside joist there. So all I'm doing is grabbing the cord, pulling it tight, placing my nail, nailing it in. Well, all right guys, we have them plugged in. The job is almost done. 
it is daylight now, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see these things lit up. They are only one watt LEDs. And over here in the corner, I do have a temporary extension cord that's going down to this plug. And don't worry, it is not going to be staying like this. I am going to be getting a black eight foot extension cord that'll reach perfectly to that point there. But for now, I just wanted to show you that the job is done and everything is working as it should. And if you're wondering just how bright these lights are in the evening, it's about 6.30 p.m. my time here in Tennessee. The sun is still up off in the distance over there, but you can see these lights are already looking pretty good. And here they are in the early evening. The sun is now down, but we still have light in the sky. And to be honest, to my eye, the light seem brighter than they do on camera. Even though those bulbs are only one watt a piece, they are putting off quite a bit of light. Well, all right, here we are. It is completely dark outside, and finally we get to see what these lights actually look like. Right now I'm being lit by these string lights only, and I just want to throw something out there. Every camera has either an automatic white balance or a white balance you can custom set yourself. These string lights have a very warm color temperature to them, probably about 26 or 2700 Kelvin. Right now my camera is set to 3200 Kelvin and that is simply because looking at the back of the screen on the camera to what my eyes see, it pretty much matches up. So I wanted to tell you that if you're wondering about the color of these lights, basically they have a very, very warm color. So there's the whole 48 foot string wrapped completely around the underside of that balcony and they certainly do provide a beautiful light. Off in the distance, you can see a daylight colored bulb back there. Just to give you a bit of contrast, these lights definitely look really, really good. So that's the string lights, not bad for under 40 bucks. And I wanna reiterate why exactly it was that I bought these lights from Costco and why I kind of think they're the best. Looking around at all my local big box home hardware stores, the discount tool stores, they all sell a version of these lights. And I'm not saying they're bad by any means. I don't know, I've never purchased them. But for the small amount of research I was doing, this seemed to be the best bang for the buck. The total length was longer, there was more bulbs in that length, and it seemed to be more heavy duty. And you can't ignore that amazing return policy that Costco has. If I didn't like them, I knew that I could bring them back. I was a little worried that this one strand of lights wouldn't put off enough light to light this area, but boy, was I wrong. Honestly, it seems to be absolutely perfect. Not too much light, not too little. It just seems perfect. And just for comparison purposes of the color temperature of the lights, I've now switched the camera to 5600K. And now the camera set back down to 3200K. And this is more along the lines of what my eyes see. And now I set the white balance to 2500K, which is as low as this camera will go. And you can see with the camera set at 2500K, this light looks a lot more white. If you take a peek at that light in the background, which is a daylight colored bulb, it's now looking a lot more blue. And again, the camera's back up at 5600K and you can see the incredible difference. And now we're back at 3200K and the whole point here is just to give you a really good idea of exactly what color temperature this string of lights produces. Well, for a relatively affordable set of string lights, I think these Costco lights check all the boxes. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy for the General Expert Channel here on YouTube, and I will see you in the next one.